Hey everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. If you've been watching my channel, you've seen that I've made a, um, several different videos now on GPS devices. And during those devices, I always go into the software, how the software works, how the device works. And one of the things that I've realized is that if you're not familiar with uh, GPS devices, if you're not familiar with using them as trackers, some of the terminology may be a bit confusing. Um, or it just may be new to you. So I thought I'd make a video and go over some of the basic features that uh, typically all GPS manufacturers will include whenever you buy a GPS device from them. All right, I think the first thing to note is that there's no actual software that you have to download for these devices. So you don't have any system requirements. All the software is typically web-based software, which just means that you get online, you go to the manufacturer's website, you register your device, make an account, and you log in, and then you get all the information from your device that way. And for the video today, I'm going to be using two different companies. I'm going to be using LinksUp and CarLock to give you an example of all the software. So again, as I mentioned, you just go online, get on their website, and log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And it's going to go ahead and take me to their home screen. I'm going to go ahead and also sign into CarLock's website. And again, after I sign in, it's going to take me to CarLock's home screen, which you've seen on LinksUp and CarLock that it, right away you can see where my devices are. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and take a look at the mapping software. So on the bottom left down here, you see the Google Map icons, and if you click on them, you get all the same interactions that you would just as if you were on Google Earth. So if your device is located on a certain road or a certain location, you can click on the map and see where it's at. And CarLock is similar. Down at the bottom left, you can see their link to their mapping software. This is an open source mapping software that anybody can use. And if you're not familiar with it, if you've ever been on Craigslist and seen the map to the right of the ad, that's the same software. So the takeaway from this, if you're looking for a device, check out the mapping software they use. Do they use something like OpenStreetMaps or do they use something like Google Maps? Just make sure you're getting the mapping software that you really want. Real quick, once your device is up and running, there is typically two types of information that the manufacturers will give you in reference to the location. There is real-time data, which means where the device is right now, and there is historical data, which means where's the device been. And basically the way that they display that is they simply draw a line on the map and show you um, where all it's been on the roads. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. With CarLock, it's pretty straightforward. It puts an A on the map for your starting point and it puts a B on the map for your ending point. It does this for each leg of the trip, so you end up with several A's and B's, but it's very easy to understand. And LinksUp does something similar. It uses A's and B's for the start and stopping point of each leg of your trip. But LinksUp will actually draw an arrow out on the map to show you the direction your car is traveling during each leg of the trip. All right, so the next thing is the alerts that the software will give you. So for car lock, if your vehicle is moved, if the device is disconnected, if someone shakes your car, or if someone starts your car, it will send you an alert to either your computer or your smartphone. Now, LinksUp has more performance-based alerts. And in addition to the performance, you can actually set times that you want those alerts. Features like this are typically for fleet-based vehicles. So the takeaway for this is that as you're shopping for a device, you want to think about your alerts. Do you want performance-based alerts or do you want statistical-based alerts? All right, so basically what geofencing is, is that you go into your program and you pick a spot and you say, if my device or the car that the device is on enters into a certain area, I want to get an alert, in which case, manufacturer will send you an alert to your smartphone or to your computer however you have it set up and vice versa it'll work the same way if your device or your car leaves the area the manufacturer can send you another notice to your smartphone so that's it hopefully this was useful to you and uh, 
If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any feedback, please let me know if you have any questions. Just leave a comment down below. And yeah, as always, thanks again.